What's up guys? I'm Gus. You're here at OK Van Custom Interiors and we build vans. Check out this 170 wheelbase Mercedes. Our client ended up asking us to pretty much convert this uh, passenger van and turn it into a very somewhat luxurious uh, barbershop van. He just wanted a large cabinet. He's gonna have two barber chairs over here. He did want some running water, so obviously we, we got the faucet. Convenient located to the side is a little 12 volt pump. Very simple setup right here in terms of the water system. So this one right here is strapped onto the side. You got a hose jumped into the uh, 12 volt pump. So whenever he needs to fill that up, he can easily just remove it, fill it up, and then the other one, you know, obviously you can just undo a little sleeve, take that out, dump it, put it back in, and you're ready to go. You're cutting hair, you're washing your hands, very sanitary work environment. Conveniently located, we ended up putting a, like a little backboard right here, so in case he has to connect his clippers, boom, he just jacks up and he's fading. We got the TV so you can actually watch the games. This is a 40 inch right here and behind you is a ceiling mounted electrical 32 inch TV. So you can actually hit it with the remote. It'll go up slowly and then drop down whenever he needs to. We have some HDMI cables over here and you can just put a, you know, a PS5 or an Xbox right here and people can game it. So we ended up using the stove because our client said like, it's like basically brand new. And since he is gonna use this vehicle uh, in parts like with his family to go out camping or whatever. Uh, he can just take this out. Um, we didn't have any space for the propane tank because we got, he wanted a, a pretty large 12 volt uh, fridge over here. And we just purchased, he purchased this on Amazon and uh, it was like 600 bucks or something, but it works efficiently and uh, it can stay on for indefinite periods of time since it is wired directly into the 12 volt. Uh, battery system. I'll show you guys that later. But yeah, this stove, it turns on, it's got lights, obviously does everything you need to do. And you got the hose down here and it actually extends out outside of the vehicle so you can safely hook up your propane out there. Workstation one, you know, you got some large drawers, you got some parts in there. This is some custom Formica. He ended up uh, choosing that from our sample book. So whenever you guys come, and if you need anything or you want to check out some materials beforehand, uh, we have a whole bunch of books, samples, materials that you can choose from. Check out the diamond stitch upholstery. All this is custom uh, made. You got the French double seam right here. These lights were actually installed here originally. We ended up just keeping them because they actually have like some blue different lighting options, which is pretty cool at night if you're trying to relax or have a romantic moment in here. <laughs> But yeah, you got speakers all over. Uh, this is the uh, waiting room bench. Um, they do have children and a baby. So we ended up going with our DIY brackets. And this is the way it works. It's just very simple to pull it forward, boom. These particular, these particular ones, we ended up putting in a fold up feature so they could do this. And then this is the uh, solar slash electrical cabinet. We ended up putting some uh, some JBL GTO uh, speakers right here on the both of the back doors. This is a Blaupunk uh, stereo, or I'm sorry, uh, amplifier. And it's a four channel, so you can add on to that two more uh, speakers if you'd like at a different time. But um, for the meantime, we just ended up tying these two very powerful speakers to the original sound system in the front of the vehicle. Uh, you have a 60 amp, Renogy DC to DC charger, which is very, uh, it's strong and it's got 60 amps. So it, it's gonna charge your lithium batteries very fast. He does have two uh, LiPo batteries right here. Um, each one is 200 amp hours. So he has a total of 400 amp hours in terms of power. Uh, 3000 watt Victron energy inverter. Your Lynx distributor, your main power disconnect. You got a shunt right there. The shunt's obviously connected to the battery screen. You also have the uh, solar disconnect, your breaker panel. You got your 30 amp main breaker, and each line is uh, it has a breaker of 20 amps. So you got three outlets on in the vehicle. So three outlets right here on the right hand side, and three outlets on the left hand side on that on that back panel, like I showed you guys. Uh, he does have. 400 watts of solar, two Spartan 
uh, each one, two Spartan solar panels up on top. Each panel is uh, 200 watts, so he has 400 watts, obviously. And the uh, 3000 watt uh, Victron uh, in inverter is also a charger, so we got a short plug connected to the to the outside and in, in case it's uh in case it's at night you can you know use the uh 60 amp uh full current to ch charge all your batteries but you, you also have some switches in the front so you can actually turn it on off in case you don't need it for whatever reason or uh just if you need it at night obviously when you're not generating power with the sun because the sun's not out uh, you can charge your batteries really fast or set it to 30 amps which is half the current and that's mainly so you don't overwork your alternator um, and that's going to prolong the life of all your components inside the engine and the alternator and all that stuff. You got your uh, MPPT and just all your basic connections and then just so he doesn't have to like open it up you know whenever he has to turn on the inverter he does have a little switch out here on the outside where he can easily turn it on off or set it to just charge mode where he can actually like dial in how much current he wants coming in from the shore from the shore uh, outlet on the exterior so very easily just pop this down and pull this up and you got your bench back so again we're gonna have a barbershop chair here and another one over here and uh you also have some dimmers so this is a pretty nice little you know, you turn that on, you can dim it down, you can make it pretty bright. And that's about it. We also have some custom seats that we, uh, we only, we not only manufacture them, but we do the uh, custom upholstery. So, boom. And that's a full size captain's chair. So I hope you guys like the walkthrough. If you guys are interested in any of our services or any of our custom products or general products, feel free to check out our social and it's all linked in our bio. See you guys next time.